Good morning, class. So my name is Osanganyinga Filibert, plumbing and selector. So here it is a plumbing workshop. So first of all, you should know what is plumbing. So I can define plumbing as a system which convey water using pipe, valves, plumbing fixtures, or any other plumbing apparatus. And also it is used to remove waste matter inside the, the breedings. So to do those work of plumbing, of course there is tools you have you should have and the material you should do have to do plumbing work. So I'm going to start on tools used in a plumbing workshop. So in a plumbing workshop, so we have different classes of tools we used. We have measuring tools. It is used, of course, to measure length of the pipe, diameter of the pipe, so we have also cutting tool. In the cutting tool, we have pipe cutter. This is pipe cutter. This is it was used to cut the pipe. Another cutting tools we have, we had this die and stock. This is die. This is stock. We have also assembling and holding tools, like this pipe wrench. This pipe wrench, it has this nut, it has the jaws and the handle. This is used for holding and assembling. We have also another tools used for holding and assembling this adjustable spanner. We have also scriber we used for marking. For example, if you need to cut, to cut you have to mark that area where you need to, to cut. We use this scriber. So there is the other tools which use it to cut the internal threads. This is called the tap. This is the tap, this is the reach. It is that one, we use it to cut this internal threads. So as I say before, this is die at the stock. This one, it is used to cut the external threads on the pipe, like this. This one, you are seeing, this is our external threads. We have also the power tools. So the power tools are those used the power, the current to perform the, the work. Here, we have this PPR, welding machine. This is the power supply cable. This is the control of heat. This is the seat. This is the heating element. Those are the switch. We have also this power threading machine. This. This is it is the power threading machine. You see, this is the power supply. This is the flame which holding the die. This is the pipe cutter. This is the lima. We have also another tools which use it for bending the, the pipes. For example, if you need to bend the pipe on a different angles, you can use this hydraulic bending machine. This hydraulic machine 
has this pump, has this valve. This valve it is used to open and close the flow of this oil. It has also former. This is where the pipe should be fixed in order that you bend. When the pipe is bending on right angle, the edge of the pipe should be touching on this edge and this. This is what you call a lima, where you fix the, this former. We have also what you call stopper. Those are stopper. This stopper, this is pin. So this is pin, this, you fix stopper here, and you put the pin for fixing this stopper, as well as here. This is the pin to fix the stopper. We have also this tripod chain vise. We say the tripod chain vise because it has three legs. And also it has the tightening chain. It has also chain tightening handle. It has also the, the stock where you put the tools when you are working, when you are performing a work or no. Or no, this tripod chain vise. So those are the tools we used here in the plumbing. So we are going to look some materials. For the materials, we classify materials in two types. We have metal, pipes, and plastic pipes. We have this PPLA pipes. You see this is plastic. We have this galvanized steel pipe. It is galvanized because to prevent the, the lasting or corrosion. We have the ganga pipes, and also we have this copper pipe. So this copper is supplied in two types. There is a copper which is supplying in length, and there is other which is supplying in the form of a coil. You see? This is the, the coil. We have also PVC pipes. This is, it is another plastic pipe which is used for evacuating the waste, the waste materials. So we have another tools which is special when we are trading, so you have to put this oil for cooling. When you put this oil, of course, it prevents being that the thread are cut. When you are trading, dye and the pipe are heating, you put this oil for, for cooling. So we have this. Teflon, this is you put on the thread to prevent the leakage of, of water. We have also this flaring tools. This it is used to expand the diameter of the copper pipes. Here we have the adapters. These adapters so are used to, for fusion, the plastic pipes. And also, we had the plumbing fittings. We have this tree. We have elbow. Even those 
at the plumbing fittings are used to joining the pipe according to the, their purpose. As you see, all of them, they have different purposes. Some are used to change the direction. Some are used also to extend the pipeline. So each pipe fitting is, are used to joining the network of the pipe. Those are metal. Those are for the plastics. So we have also a tools used for cutting the plastic pipe. This is it is for the plastic pipe. But this it is for the metal pipes. We have also what you call the lima. This is lima. This is it is used to remove the bar inside the, the pipe. Those bars can break the flow of water. So you have to remove it by using this. This rima. 